so yeah, we've got the Peacekeeper light gun for the Philips CDI. Here you can see the actual gun. And here's the packing game, Mad Don McCree from American Laser Games. Have a little look at that. So, very popular arcade game from the early 90s. In the arcade, uh, the game ran on laser discs, or a laser disc, shall I say. But here, this requires the CDI digital video cartridge. You know, as we've seen from some other CDI software, uh, it's very capable of producing decent video quality, but with the added advantage of the digital video cartridge, the video quality is excellent. It's essentially video CD quality, which in the grand scheme of things, not the greatest video format ever, but for a console like this, it's far superior to say the, you know, the Mega CD, even the Saturn, even the 3DO. So yeah, video quality is excellent. Here's a little look at the manual. So there's the model number of the gun. This, we'll show you this in a minute, this is a receiver that you require that goes on, sits on top of your TV or by the side or underneath, wherever you need it. Like this, there you go. Anywhere you want, within reason. Chuck that away. So yeah, the actual Peacekeeper gun, it's in this sort of revolver style or sort of Wild West, pretty common at the time. That is the same style of gun as the 3DO game gun and also Konami's Justifier. It's much cooler than, do you remember back in the 8-bit days, the phaser style was pretty popular. And then they went to this sort of gunslinger, sort of magnum style. And then by the time we got to the Mega Drive and Super Nintendo with, with the Menacer and the Super Scope 6, what the hell were they? I don't even know what the Menacer was. And the Scope 6 was like a bazooka. And then for like the 30-bit 30, 30 era with the PlayStation, I went to the sort of standard handguns. They looked a bit cheese. But this era of light guns, pretty nice. So let's have a look at the game. in the air. It's an ill wind that bodes no good. Mad Dog McCree and his band of cutthroats riding into town. Folks here plum scared to death. Town is deserted. Even a tumbleweed doesn't dare blow across the streets today. As these hombres are mean, vicious, and a gun. I'm sure we got a sheriff. But what we need is a gunslinger. You handle yourself, Pilgrim. You uh, sway a little lead in harm's way. That'd be tricky, but uh, we'd be forever beholden to you. We're, we're simple folk. Oh, but uh, the mayor's daughter, you lay your eyes on her, you see what I mean. She'd be worth taking a chance for. Hi, you're new around these parts. You heading into my daddy's town? He's the mayor. <laughs> well, if you are, you better take up some target practice first. There's a mean bunch that showed up, and I'm scared. Well, you best set your sights. I'll see you back in town. Right, let's get into the game. So if you can see on the top of the screen, there's a receiver. I can't actually see those red lights, but those are infrared, I'm guessing. I'll just pick the controller type. We're using the Peacekeeper gun. So interestingly, you can probably see the receptacle, the receptacle, the rectacle on the screen. So that means this acts, it's a bit of a cliche, but this does act somewhat like the Wii motion controls, you know, the Wiimote and the sensor bar, and also the PlayStation Move controllers. 
so it's not like the other light guns of its time. <coughs> the technology is somewhat different. <coughs> Does that mean it's better? <coughs> well, I'm not sure. If you've ever used like the Wiimote or the PlayStation Move, you know they can lose their tracking a bit. Not a good folks. But before you step into town, you may want to take care of a few things for you. You don't want to get your fanny shot clean off. You might want to start with a little target practice. Just take a crack at the bullseye right here. Not too much to last long again, them outlaws. And if you think you're ready to take on the meanest bunch of desperados west of the Pecos, just take aim at Mad Dog Ugly Mug and that there wanted poster. I think we'll get straight into the game, eh? So, I'm shooting from behind the camera here, so let's see how we get on. Apologies for, 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 uh, apologies for the flickering now and again. That's just to do with the refresh rate of the TV. Good. Uh, one more important hey, thing. Oh, Potter. <laughs> Bloody hell. Mm. Looks like uh, you're going to pull through. Cheers, Grim Reaper. You can save that guy. If you shoot, do shoot that second guy, you can save this dude. Right. Uh, let's try the saloon. Look at that first time. When there's an action scene, the uh, gun barrel appears in the bottom left. That's pretty much your cue that some action is going to take place and you can start shooting. Neck, damn it. Well, I'd uh, rather be lucky than good. You took a bad hit, but it looks like you're going to pull through. So it plays much the same as the arcade game, but obviously that means that it's not exactly like Virtual Cop where you're shooting sprites. There's a window of opportunity to get the shots out and get them accurate as well. It doesn't mean it's not fun, but it's certainly not... Let's go on the stairs up here. Yeah. Just unload your barrel. Thanks, stranger. I'll forever be holding to you. You can see how good the video quality is, though, right? Excellent. But remember one thing. Where's the bulletproof vest? Here's the keys. <laughs> He's seen too much today. Right, let's, I think we've got to go to the sheriff's office. Get him out, he's been locked up by Mad Dog. Let's not shoot the babes. Ding! Oh, thank God. I thought it got me in the head first time. Flip through there. Yes. Gunsling in. You don't stand a chance. He's brave going out there on his own. Go get him, Let's do it. I got him. Who's foe? That's the thing, isn't it? 
Jesus. You better work on your sharpshooting, stranger. You only got two lives left. Better use them wisely. You know, of all the ways to use sort of laser technology for video games, this is not too bad, right? I got it. Got him, but I think I lost the sheriff. <laughs> the map to the hideouts in the mine, but you get to talk to the prospector first. It's showdown time, stranger. I thought this guy died. Holster your iron. We're going to see how fast you can draw. You'll either be mighty quick or well. That's why we got a full kill. Right, so I think I've got a draw here. I don't know how to do it, though. Yeah! <laughs> right, so I think you've got to, I think you've got to shoot the holster to draw and then shoot. If you ever get the chance to play this on the CDI. For trouble, stranger. You better get lucky or you're gonna be dead. You've only got one life left. One thing about the um the receiver is, I imagine it'll work fine on flat panel TVs because it tracks like a mouse. So you don't need a CRT to play this, I'm, I'm assuming. You looking for trouble, Tiger? Got him in the face. Where? I didn't even see him. Looks like this good old boy has seen his last gunfight. Time to take him to Blue Hill. Cheers, pal. Poor old soul. You never had a chance against Mad Dog. So there you go. You've got a bit of practice. You can calibrate the gun. Choose your difficulty level. Even load from where you left off. So that's not bad. The CDI is blessed with a lot of these uh, light gun games from American Laser Games. Oh, I got that right, American Laser Games? I made these originally. Yeah, American Laser Games, okay. So like, Who Shot Johnny Rock, Crime Wars, blah, blah, blah. There's quite a lot of them. Um, so if we get any more, we'll show them. But uh, yeah, this works not too bad. It's a lot of fun. If you like the arcade game, this is probably one of the best versions of this out there. So happy days. And remember, just keep rad, will ya? Carbon units keep it groovy and stay rad.